What is going on guys? Yesterday Intrepid gave us their monthly live stream talking about what they've been working on and what is coming down the road for Ashes of Creation. Unfortunately, we still didn't get a date on Castle Sieges yet like I was hoping, but hopefully that will be coming soon. From what they've shown, Castle Sieges looks to be pretty far along and hopefully ready to get into the hands of players soon. As much as I enjoy Apocalypse, I really want to storm and destroy castles. But before we get into what was shown, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Also, if you haven't signed up yet and are interested in Ashes of Creation whatsoever, you can click on my referral link in the description below and jump in and make an account and maybe test some Apocalypse while you're at it. Anyways, the first thing I want to talk about is the destructible environments shown. We were shown a ton of new images of this and it looks amazing. I'm not going to talk about every one, but we have some bridges that have been destroyed, some walls, and it just shows the all-around chaos that Castle Sieges will have involved in Ashes of Creation. But what caused this destruction? Well, we get a brief look at siege weapons in action as well, and although it's not quite finished yet, and this does not represent the final designs of these, they are kind of cool to just watch. Along with this, we got a look at the Dwarven Biome, where the Castle of Milnar is located, and it's as you would expect for dwarves. Snowy, rocky areas, and the castle is built into the side of a cliff. It's a beautiful area that I can't wait to jump into. Along with this, we got to look at some human and orc environment designs. The orc concept is in the pretty early stages, and the human is much further along. One thing they mentioned about the orcs is their architecture definitely has some Asian influences in it. Honestly, I never thought of orcs with this kind of architecture, but the work Intrepid has put into it looks great. The Kalar human architecture is also gorgeous. The bright white tents and the red accents really make it stand out. The overall architecture definitely feels very familiar for humans, but stands out in its own way as well, and I'm excited to see how the final product looks. In the live stream, we also got to look at a new mount, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, as I want a more completed version before I discuss it. We also had the usual community Q&A where questions were pulled from the forums to ask the devs in game. If you want to watch the full live stream, be sure to check out the link in the description. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for a lot more to come.